Purdue recently has made a huge commitment by investing $250 million in life sciences, and a large amount of that have been used to set up three key life science institutes. The three institutes are the Purdue Institute for Inflammation, Immunology, and Infectious Disease, the Purdue Institute of Integrative Neuroscience, and the Purdue Institute for Drug Discovery. The Purdue Institute of Integrative Neuroscience is tackling some of the most pressing problems we have when we think about neurobiology. Investigators are looking at both the structural aspects of neurons, they're looking at the developmental biology associated with neurons, and they're looking at the signaling processes that neurons utilize to communicate with one another. The Purdue Institute of Inflammation, Immunology, and Infectious Disease. This is a broad approach to a serious number of problems. Inflammation, for instance, is very critical in a number of cancers. In fact, it's a driver of many, many cancers. Uh, and of course, we're trying to harness that. We're trying to uh, examine mechanisms by which we can reduce that inflammatory drive for a particular tumor type. Part of that $250 million gave us uh, money to add a component onto our high-end cryo-electron microscope. That component, which was installed about a year and a half ago, was essential for allowing us to do the Zika virus structure at very high resolution. And so we were the first ones to do that. And having that information allows us to look at the virus particle and to know the position of every atom in that virus particle. Purdue's new investments in life sciences have been really revolutionizing the faculty here at Purdue. Uh, there's tremendous excitement about being able to invest in new facilities and bring researchers together who previously were not, so that interdisciplinary work can really take place. Purdue's Discovery Park is kind of a new model for us where we're bringing equipment and high-end technologies that, are, that could be used by multiple investigators throughout the university to a common place, allowing highly trained staff to run those facilities and facilitate faculty moving their research in new directions. And one of those tools is something called an induced pluripotent stem cell, or IPS cell. Basically taking a patient's own cells and turning it into a neuron. We can work on new technologies to change it into many of the multitude of different kinds of neurons that are in the brain. The recent $250 million investment uh, this has allowed me to take my quantitative tools and translate them to other laboratories here at Purdue and work together with people collaboratively to really start to figure out and tease apart these signal transduction cascades. It's been really easy for me to find collaborative colleagues and Purdue really values this multidisciplinary approach. The uh, environment is highly collegial and the infrastructure allows collaborative research to be done very easily. So the Binley Bioscience Center is really a focal point for the life sciences at Purdue. The Binley really is an important place where we have high-end resources that are essential uh, for life sciences. These are things like flow cytometry, high-end uh, imaging, uh, we have a translational pharmacology component to it, but the Binley continues to be this conduit and bridge between engineering and life sciences where people can do new things, different things, that are not so easy to do in their own particular departments. The Purdue Institute for Drug Discovery has enabled us to fill in this gap in production of new drugs. Today we have 16 drugs in human clinical trials. We have 59 drugs in the clinical pipeline and we're expanding this effort by involving all of the life scientists and engineers at the university. With this new interest and focus on drug development, we expect our productivity in this area to continue to expand. This emphasis on drug discovery has led to the uh, movement of drugs into human clinical trials from Purdue faculty that treat such diseases as cancer, a number of autoimmune and inflammatory diseases, Collectively, we believe that Purdue University could have an enormous impact on the welfare of the uh, American public. And this is the time for us to be training our next generation of scientists. And I think Purdue is at the forefront of this. I think the students here will get a tremendous amount of education, of value, having these institutes, having the ability to 
carry out cutting edge research across disciplinary boundaries. And the three institutes are going to play a major role in bringing all of that together. Please come and visit us here at Purdue. Explore, experiment, and discover with us. Thank you.